Hey everyone, welcome back to another quick stream tip video. In today's video I want to show you how you can use face rig to make an interactive and fun element to your stream. Namely, instead of showing your face on webcam, you can actually show a virtual 3D avatar on screen that moves and acts just like you would do in real life. Now for this, one thing that you need is a paid software program called FaceRig. So buy that on the Steam store or on their official website, I will link both of them down below. And when you have that installed, I will show you exactly how to set it up within OBS so you can show yourself as a 3D avatar within your stream. As always, if you like this kind of videos, please be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you get a notification of any future videos that are being posted to the channel. Now without further ado, let's jump into our PC so I can show you how it's done. Okay, so we are here in the browser. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the FaceRig website, which you can find on facerig.com. Over there, you can click on the Buy FaceRig button, which will lead you to a page where you can find all the versions of FaceRig. Now, if we're gonna be using it only on stream, we don't have to buy the studio version, which is for commercial use, as you can see down here, but we can actually go down here and go to the Steam section and click on the regular FaceRig button. So click that. That will bring you to the Steam site, and over there you can actually buy it from the Steam store. Now of course, I've already bought it, but you probably know how to use Steam. So go ahead, buy this piece of software, install it on your PC, and after that we will jump into OBS and we will see how we can actually use it in our streams. Now once you've made sure that you've bought FaceRig, you've installed it on your system and you're ready to go, you will see this screen for the first time. Just click on Launch, which will take us to the actual tool. Now because of the way of how FaceRig works, it uses your camera, so I couldn't show you my camera within OBS, so you will have to rely on this little field that you have over here. But as you can see, when you boot up this tool, it immediately recognizes your face, it shows you this avatar, and you can actually see it starts to move by the way that I'm using my face. So you can talk and the avatar will talk accordingly. Now of course there are many avatars already in this tool, so if you can go up here to this avatar section, you can see an entire list of different avatars for you to choose from. So if you find an avatar in here that you like, Great, you're good to go. You can actually continue using this and we will jump into OBS to show you how you can actually set up this avatar into OBS. Now I, I'm gonna be using the one that I'm always using on my stream. So we will be using this one as an example to show you how to set it up within OBS. Now it could be that when you open your Facebook for the first time, this environment might look slightly different to you. If that's the case and you don't see this green screen background, click on this environments button up here and choose the green screen. Also, one thing to take into account is that there are many other features that you can tweak with your avatar. If you want to do this, click on the UI plus button over here and you will see there are a lot of features that you can use on this side. There's no one size fits all way to make sure that your avatar works exactly to your face. It's all dependent on your lighting situation, your face, your glasses, any reflection that you may have. So make sure that you go ahead Go into these settings and tweak everything according to your specific situation. And one last thing that you want to do before you can actually go live is you want to make sure that toggle broadcast is turned on and toggle tracking is also turned on. Otherwise, nothing will happen. Okay, now let's jump back into OBS and show you how you can actually get the face rig inside of OBS. So as you can see, we are back in OBS. And now the first thing that we're going to do is add our face rig into our OBS scene. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on this plus button over here and you're going to choose video capture device. And there you're gonna get this screen where you can name your new source. You can name it anything, I'm just gonna name it Face Rig. Click OK. So you will get this screen where automatically it should be selected as Face Rig Virtual Camera. If that's not the case for you, then please go ahead and select Face Rig from the drop down menu. But if you if you have selected and you actually see your Face Rig up here, then you are good to go. Click OK. As you can see now, we still have our green background from Face Rig in our scene, which is obviously not something that we want. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add a chroma key filter to it, which basically allows us to delete the green background. Basically the same as when you're using a green screen to delete your webcam background, this is the same idea. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on this, select filters, and as you can see, I already have one set up here, but you can go ahead down here, go to the plus sign, select chroma key, yes, and here you can actually Already see the key type is selected as green. If you want to, you can make sure that you can smooth it a little bit if it's not the desired effect. Sometimes it doesn't get the desired effect and you will see a little bit green on the outside. So just go with similarity, go up with that. Make sure you don't go too far, otherwise you will actually remove your face rig itself, which is obviously not something you want. So select it, 
until you hit a sweet spot with that. But once you've done that, you can actually close back out of this and you can see that your face rig is now ready to go. So here's the thing that you need to take into account. Your computer can only use your webcam for one application. So make sure that once you're going to stream with face rig, open face rig first before opening OBS. Otherwise it won't recognize your webcam in Facebook and you won't be able to see any movement at all. And there you have it, a simple and fun way to do something new on your stream. Instead of showing your face, you can show yourself as a virtual 3D avatar. This works perfectly for people who are kind of shy, who don't necessarily want to use a face cam, but still want to show some kind of presence on their stream, letting the viewer know that there's actually someone playing the games that they are watching. Now, as always, here's a little pro tip that you can use to push this even more to the next level. Now within Facebook, there's several different avatars that you can choose from, varying from certain animals to famous political people. But if you want, you can also implement your very own model into the tool itself. Now, if you are proficient with 3D tools like Blender or other 3D programs, you can actually make your own model and import it to the software. But if you're not capable to make your own model, you can actually log on to the Steam Workshop and find several pre-made models that you can download and use for free. So head on over there, have a look and see if there's a model that you like even better than the ones that are already in the program. And that's it, that's how you can implement a 3D avatar of yourself into your stream with OBS Studio and Facebook on Steam. And that's also it for this quick stream tip video. If you like what you saw, please leave a thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the channel. And I will hopefully see you again in another quick stream tip video. For now, my name is Mr. Jurelicious and thank you so much for watching. See you next time.